Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on the beautiful channel, beautiful day. What's going on? My last day of the vacation, so I'm gonna go home. And I was just looking at this, this, uh, the game or console RPG, and I'm gonna keep working on it kind of religiously as I get back and just finish it off. But something I just wanna, I just wanna do the short update of some stuff that I've done. First of all, um, when I when I let me see in game or in main where where did I put it? There's like everything is so kind of fragmented here. So many things, you know. Game character whatever. Uh what I did was I went into game and I added this little thing here. So it's gonna ask me for an enter to continue. I'm just gonna sit and use the sin get. And all it does is just wait for a character. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it just gets. It just waits for a character. Basically, it's like, yo, bro. Just like I'm just gonna chill until you give me an enter key, and then you can look at everything you're looking at. And as soon as you press enter, the menu will pop up again. And then I clear the system so we we can like see the result of what we pressed. And then I check the level up available thing. I go into the menu all as usual but this is a little different now I do some error checking for the input imagine if you're inputting you're playing the game you got to like level 5000 but you didn't save and you're like bro I inputted an S instead of a 3 or a W instead of a 3 and then your system crashes it starts looping and you can't get your character back because you never saved it so you don't want to lose because of a faulty input what happens is you go into sin choice so you're getting the choice you press a number, no problems. You're not going to hit this part here. But if you enter anything else than a number, <clears throat> you're going to come in here. Your sin is going to fail. It's going to get, it's going to recognize that it, it didn't get what it wanted to. Okay? So you can write this and you can also say while sin not <clears throat> choice. And this is the same thing. Okay? It's just that then you might want to remove this. But that's not what we're going to do. That's the same thing because it's checking if the input was what it was supposed to be. And it wasn't. So in that case, we failed. And we're going to go in here. I'm just going to print out a faulty input string. Literal. And then uh, clear the stream. Okay. Ignore 100 characters or up to a new line character. Okay. Because when we pressed enter, that new line character is still going to float around here. So we just want to remove that. And then we want to come in here and we want to enter choice again. So we're going to keep doing this until we get a correct input. And what I do here is I just ignore it again for all the get line things later on in the program. I don't want them to screw up because of this input. Every time you do a sin, there's going to be a, or a C in, there's going to be a, a new line character floating around in there thinking of being a freeloader, right? So you got to kill it off. You got to shoot that bastard and you just shoot it right here. And then you end the line and boom, you're good to go. And then you can go into the rest of your stuff. In get line, you don't have to do all that new line or, or the ignore stuff. We already talked about this. Now, let's just recap. Uh, nothing special. We don't have any more CNs here. We had one more CN in event. So wherever you ask for the, what is the generate event? Here, puzzle encounter. So wherever I have a sin that is going to take in an integer, or, or something like that, a numerical value that's important and not a string or character, you're gonna have to error check. So I get the answer and sin fail goes in here if the answer is, you know, if it's, it's not if the answer is incorrect, of course, but if the answer is of the incorrect format. So if I give it an S and a D and an F or something like ASD or an A, it's gonna fail. It's gonna come in here, it's gonna be like boom, boom, faulty input, clear, ignore, ask for the input again until all that stuff and then the last ignore and a C out new line too. This is like the whole input process is this. This is the whole input process. And then we can move on with our lives. So just to show you this, this is going to be a quick update video and I'm going to change a few things in menu but that's about it. Uh, if we make a character and then we just do this faulty input and then we're going to do choice 5 that worked. See? No problems. And then you're going to have uh, one travel if I do something faulty input, but if I say two, 
I get XP. So that's what's up, guys and girls. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'm going to do all the menu stuff in the next video and just go ahead and work on that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Take care. And I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.